and hate deep in the caverns of Alpha Moon Base. Through such a tunnel, what mysteries unfold? Could be we'll find us a part of bright gold. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'll settle for the dilanite crystals we're looking for. Well, this looks like a good place. Bluey, set her up. Hey, that's no dilanite crystal. Try the cutter. Broaden the beam. It's impossible. Hey, I thought I just saw. Mr. Carter! Mr. Carter! Okay, set it up over there. Welcome back among the living. You had us worried for a moment. Come on. Could this be some form of cryogenic suspended animation setup? Cabinet temperature is four degrees centigrade. Well, then, no. That's cool, but it's well above the cryogenic temperature range. Life signs? Nothing. No sign of life at any level. No brain activity, no heartbeat. No, I saw his eyes open, I tell you. I saw his eyes open. Impossible, Alan. That's impossible. Well, I just suppose that the moon was inhabited sometime in the past. Could this be some sort of burial ground? Well, it's an elaborate cemetery surrounded by a very strong force field. Hmm. Who are they being protected from? Hey, wait a minute. You see that? On Crom 2, the inhabitants knew that as a sign of danger. They called it uh, the flam on the death glow, you remember? Right. It was a sign left by a godlike grace to warn the people of places where their lives might be in danger. Yeah. Hello. Just a moment ago, I got a heartbeat. Is there been any change in the volume of air in the lungs since you began monitoring? An increase of 2.5 milliliters in just over seven minutes. What does that mean? He's breathing. Tony, that section of wall. Must be the power source and control panel. Now that must control the force field. Yeah. Can you operate it? <laughs> if I knew where to start. Well, if Maya was here, she could figure it out in a minute. Well, she isn't, and we can't wait for another two days for she and John to return from the blue quadrant, sir. Watch out! The roof! It's coming down! Mark, come in here! Come in here!
here. Swing him around. That's it. Alan! No, Tony! He's a kid! He's a kid! Come on. Set him down. Over here. Brain pulse and heartbeat leveling off at norm minus 0 0.2. Get the monitor on the boy. Take it easy. You'll be fine. Take it easy. I got a heartbeat. Pure oxygen. Brain pulse. Another heartbeat. Levels. Brain pulse. Seven, seven, three, and rising. Heart, 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Four, four, increasing steadily. She's safe. Safe as we are. Moonbase Alpha status report. Dr. Helena Russell recording, 640 days after leaving Earth orbit. Special incident report, excavation discovery. Supplementary, medical. Both subjects are resting quietly. Cardiac stimuli no longer necessary. Monitoring of all physical functions is being maintained. Preliminary analysis indicates cell structure and metabolism, 91.7% of human norm. Further investigations will be carried out, of course. Contact has been made with Commander Koenig, and he has been informed of the situation. How are our patients? In deep sleep. Natural or sedated? Sedated. They're still insomnal. All reading stable. Good. Let's cut the somnol. I'd like to get on with the programming of the computer for more detailed analysis. Right. So I'm not, we'll hold them for a few more hours, yeah? Let me know when you have things set up. Quiet, my son. Have they come back? Have they found a way? We are among strangers. There is no way but our way. No, Pask. No. Perhaps the strangers can help. There is no help for me. Soon there will be no help for you. Please, don't let it come. I cannot stop it. Yes, you can. Oh. Kill me. Why not? You killed Locke and Karak? I need you. The time is coming when you will need me.
how did we get the incident report? Yeah, went through on the last transmission. There's another due in a couple of minutes. Yeah, started to come through now. Eagle One, come in, Eagle One. Eagle One to Moon Base Alpha. Are you receiving? Not too well, Commander. Visual not holding steady. We're in the eye of an approaching meteor storm. We may be cut off at any second, so let's wrap this up fast. Okay, I'll get Eagle Three on the launch pad, ready for immediate liftoff in case you need bringing in. Let's hope we won't need bringing in. Helena, anything to add to the incident report on the two aliens? They're still under sedation, so I haven't completed a full medical analysis. Tests so far show them to be borderline human norm. Tony? Origin unknown, no ID, unable to interrogate yet. Until we can, they're an X-Factor. Until you do, treat them as an X-Factor. Check. And what would you like to know? Hey, Cobber. You're up and doing. Cobber? Yeah. That means you're a pal, you know? A real close buddy. Our systems break down a sedative more quickly than yours. Your head? A scratch. My equilibrium was not fully restored when I stood up. My head hit the wall. Please, please. I cannot allow you. A man's blood holds deep spiritual significance on Archanon. Archanon? Archanon? It's the planet of peace. Yes, we are Archanons, the peace bringers. I am Pask. This is Ettrick, my son. And you, I know, are Commander Koenig. There are legends of the coming of the peace bringers, the conquests of evil by God. <laughs> We've lost them. Keep the channel open. They'll get back to us when there's a break in the storm. Conquest of evil by good. Violence was outlawed in our Archanon world. We had replaced evil with good amongst our own people. We sent our emissaries throughout the universe so others might see it could be done. I was the commander of such a mission. For most of the races we've come across, you don't seem to have had too much success. It takes time. It takes time to reach all beings. It was not, however, until we had reached your solar system that we met with total failure. My mission ended on your third planet. Earth. We established a base on your moon and observed. We saw such violence and hatred that my wife, Lara, begged me to leave Earth to its fate. I overruled her. We descended. Like doctors entering a plague area, we thought we were immune. We were not. Only Ettrick and I escaped contagion. When we returned to our moon base, the whole crew mutinied. We were overpowered and placed in stasis while they left to carry on their madness. Your madness. To the farthest corners of the universe. Why the stasis chamber? Why didn't they kill you? They could not. The Archonons cannot die. Archonons cannot kill. Not even in their madness. The taking of any form of life is abhorrent. Indeed, impossible to them. Then how come that same race can condemn a man and a boy to an eternal living death in a stasis chamber? Your wife. What happened to her? She led the mutineers. She put us here. 
Patrick. Hey, is he all right? Hold on. All right now. It could be the sum now. Let's get him to medical. All right, I'll take it. Come on, Gary. Take it easy. You got him? Yep. Yeah. Up you go. All right, let's go. What kind of people can do that to one of their own race? What kind of mother can do that to her son? How is he? There's nothing organically wrong. There's some things about his physical structure I don't understand. I'll have to do some tests. Hey. How you, Cobra? How you feeling? Hungry. <laughs> hey, did you hear that, Doc? You know, the only thing wrong with this kid, he hasn't had a square meal in a thousand years. i tell you what. There's a little place just down the corridor. Hamburgers like you wouldn't believe, right, Doc? Hamburgers? Mm. Well, they're a little bit mixed up with hydroponic soya, but they taste like the real thing. Is that okay, Doc? It's okay. But take it easy. Like you said, he hasn't had a square meal in a thousand years. Come on, let's go. Oh. Hey, can you make it? I, I think so. Boy, come on. Oh, no, boy. Oh, no, I think I better carry you. No, please. I would like to walk. Uh, carry me. Hey, okay. Hop up on the old kangaroo. Hey, we're off for a bite to eat. You want to join us? Come on, here, Cobra. Here we go. Hey! It's a virus, all right. No question about it. Look at those tendrils. They must indicate that the virus is still alive in Pask's sputum. Right. Let's see Edric's plate. Now, it has all the same characteristics, except for the tendrils. Dead? Well, it could be dormant. We'll have to check it out. All right, Edric, take this pass clean! Hey! Oh, back to you! <laughs> oh. oh, that's good. That really is good. Now, we're going to try the stab kick again. You ready? You wait here. Mr. Carter. Now, remember, son, two eyes... Hey, Bluey, out of the way, son, out of the way. Edric, two eyes into two hands. You ready? Here we go. Long and low. Hey! Oh, great! Right. Okay, now, this is the big one. This is the big one. This is the try line. You ready? You've got to get past me, or I'm going to tackle you. Everything goes. Swerving all the time. Okay, put it in. Run! Go! I'm going to tackle you. I am going to tackle you. Oh, boy! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> My granddad will be real proud of you, Edric. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hey, Bluey. You're just in time. You want to be ref? Is that a real football? Ah, uh, is that a real football, son? This is the football. Australia beat Great Britain 50 to 12. Swinton 63. You're kidding. Ah, uh, that's Harrison's own signature. Where did you get it? His grandfather used to play in Harrison's team. And he gave it to him because they were mates. That's it, son, because they were mates. Hey, Bluey, you've got to be referee. I've got to get the champ here in shape for the big match. No, no, Mr. Videshi asked me to hunt you down. Tell you we got all the stuff out of the cavern. Oh, the stasis chamber and the power unit. Yeah, and the chamber's pretty well scrapped. But the power unit's hardly touched. They're down in Tech Lab 3. They'd like to see you. Right. Let's go. Come on, Edric. Over to you. Attaboy. Back to you. <laughs> right. Did you score anything? No, zero. I don't even know how to open it. Oh, Etrek, your father's on his way. Well, in the meantime, move over and let an expert take a look. <laughs> you? <laughs> Him. Oh, I'm sorry. I never handled power units. I only got as far as wave particle analysis. Well, listen, I tell you what, if we have any wave particle problems, we're sent for you, okay? Pask would know. He was the commander. It's the same all over the universe. In the eyes of the sun, the father is the infinite source of knowledge. 
In this case, as in all others, the confidence is somewhat misplaced. But you knew all about it. As them. commander of the expedition, I was merely the coordinator. I had my... Uh, my specialists for this type of thing. Yeah, well, how about opening it? Commander, I think you can at least show us how to do that. I know what that is. It's a monitor transmitter. It's used in, in Planetfall to locate the, uh, the unit and the, the team using it. Yes, we've got those. They don't look anything like this. What's its range? Range? Whatever range is required. Oh, I see. Yes, Helena? Tony, I'm trying to locate Pask and Ettrick. Are they with you? Yes. Have them come to medical center. Could it hold just a bit? Right away, please. It's important. If the good doctor says it's important, we'd better go. Yeah, OK, OK, but how about this first, huh? Oh, well, I'll come back later and tell you what I can. Ettrick. Pask, it's not this way. We're not going to the doctor. We've got to get away. But Pask! That monitor transmitter was set to the Arcanum frequency. An Arcanum, they now know we are free. They will come for us? Oh, they won't find us. Where can we go? Well, that's that then. You've got the whole league law to yourself now. Right down to the protective storm shield. Just keep it on the launching pad until the commander asks for help. Good luck. We will take the eagle. But that is to save the commander. If he needs help. We need help. It's going to save us. Somewhere out there, we'll find a place and make it our own. And when there is no one left to kill? There is always someone left to kill. Here we see it again. Pask's brainwave patterns peak here and here. And there's no corresponding movement in Etrix. You think it could be connected with the virus? Active in Pask, dormant in the board. There is nothing more we can do without blood samples. Then maybe we can make a serum. Yes, Helena. Are Ettrick and Pask still with you? Oh, no. They left here for medical center when you asked. Aren't they there yet? No. OK, I'll get someone right onto it. Please. <laughs> the best I can do. Eagle One, are you receiving? Hardly. What is your position? Orbital reference 367. And highly uncomfortable. But you want us to launch Eagle Three. It can reach Blue Quadrant in 18 hours. Good idea. You'd better. We've got meteorite damage to the hull. How about damage to yourself? And Maya? A few bruises and a little space sick, but we'll be... Yes, Alan, what is it? Oh, I'm in Tech Lab 3 with Johnson, Tony. We think we've found some kind of recording device on the power unit. If you're still hooked into Eagle One, we'd like a, a patch with Maya for an opinion. We've lost contact. We'll try to put you through if we regain. OK, thanks. Pask. Been looking all over for you two. Dr. Russell wants you at Medical Center. Oh, well, we, we, we were on our way there. Other way around. Oh. Sorry, we're, we're strangers here. What 
makes you think this is some kind of recording device. Could be anything from an electronic pencil to a paperweight. Yeah, well, you see, it's just that now, this small panel, now, that could be a screen. So could a lot of things. No, I draw a blank on this one. Ah, you just lack the old finesse, Bluey. Small solar system in sector GL stroke 33 stroke K. Third planet showing indications of primitive life forms. Hey, you've done it, Mr. Carter. It's a data bank. Wait a minute. Pasca, I think we've got it. You better see this. Dr. Russell wants. We'll get them to the medical center, Carson. Thanks. I'll get back then. And what should I see? Right. Well, now let's have a replay. Ah. Emergency in Tech Lab 3. Security, move in. Pask! Don't Pask! Pask! Don't! 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 Center. Yes. Emergency. Tech Lab 3. Get here fast. Nature of the accident? No accident. Pask assaulted Allen and Johnson. Severe head injury. Attention security. Find Pask. He's dangerous. Maybe armed. Okay, come on. Let's go. Pierce, you come with us. Long stay there with Johnson. go, or I will kill the woman. Let the woman go, or I'll kill the boy. Go ahead. Shoot the boy. You can't do it. The killing isn't in you. But I can. I thought Archonons couldn't kill. That mark is a sign of the killing sickness. So that's why you wore the bandage to cover it up. Now listen carefully. We are going to take Eagle 3. Get all your men out of that section. Attention security. Clear all access corridors to Eagle 3. Etrick. Etrick. Come over here to me. You can lead the way. No, Pask. I will not go. You cannot stay. They will kill you. The killing is not in them. Not now, perhaps. But soon it'll be in you. Then they will have no choice. They will do what they have to do. I will stay. Edric! Come here. Come with me or I will kill you myself. Approach with caution. 
Dr. Russell's well-being takes priority. Launch area. I want Eagle One in the air above the pad. Nothing else is to move off the base. Repeat, nothing but Eagle One to lift off. I want all men in protective suits. There'll be a team of sharp shooters with stun guns and anesthetic gas guns. Where's Etrick? I left him in the recreation center. Good. Abort mission, launch pad deactivated. This order non-voidable until code reactivates. Talk to the control center. No. Tell them to have the computer unlock the controls, or I will kill you. You didn't kill Edric. You won't kill me. I should have killed him. Why didn't you? He chose to stay. I choose survival. There may not be survival for either of you. There's a strange virus in your systems. In Etric, it seems to be dormant at the moment. In you, Pask, it's alive. And it may be deadly. That's why I wanted to take blood samples. To try to help. I don't need your help. Alan, we've got to get aboard that spaceship without alerting Pask. How about the cargo hatch? Mm, there'll be too much noise for drilling. Oh, we could use an acid. Yeah, but the most powerful acid we have would take nearly three hours to eat through an eagle hole. Well, what say we go through the propulsion tubes? The inspection plates from the engine room are thinner. Padeshi, I want Etric in exchange for your doctor. And I want your computer to release this eagle. Etric has already made his choice. Bring the boy to me, or I will kill the woman. Helena, are you all right? Get growl. Tell him to... Medical center. Pask just called in from Eagle 3. He wants to make a deal. Swap Helena for the boy. You trust him? Oh, sure. Like standing in front of a laser beam. But Helena tried to say something. She said, get Raoul, tell him to, and then Pask cut her off. Now, what do you think she meant? We discovered a virus. Been trying to get blood samples to test. Maybe Helena caught on to something from Pask. Okay, thanks. I'll get back to you. Alan, the kid trusts you. You can talk to him. Oh, he doesn't want to go with Pask. You heard him. Yes, I heard him. But I also heard what Pask said, and this time I think he means it. Which do you want first, the kid or his blood? Both. How are you doing? Hey, now they are not supposed to be let out. Oh, come on, he'll fly back when he needs something to eat. Hey, Cobble, we've got a very big problem. Pask is going to kill Dr. Russell unless he gets you back. You will kill anyway. 
You can't help it. None of us can. We have a killing sickness. Edric, Dr. Russell tried to tell us something. Now, Pask wouldn't let her. Now, Rao thinks Dr. Russell wanted him to get a sample of your blood. It's something to do with the killing sickness. An Archonon cannot give his blood. Look, I'm not a doctor. I don't understand these things, but... Cobber, this can be something really good. This can save your life and Pask's. An Archonon cannot give blood. An Archonon can only kill! Can you kill me, Cobber? What have you done to yourself? I wanted to cut the sign from my forehead. You asked for Arcanon blood. This is yours. Ah. Haven't you got through to Eagle One yet? No, sir. Well, keep at it. I'm picking up a signal. Eagle One. Avian. Moonbase Alpha. Moonbase Alpha. Are you receiving Moonbase Alpha? Come in, Moonbase Alpha. Moonbase Alpha, come in, please. This is Moonbase Alpha. Who are you? Permission to land, Moonbase Alpha. Identify, please. Get her on the big screen. I am from Arcanon. We're concerned for your safety. Two Arcanons have been freed from restraint and can be a danger to you. I need permission to land. You have it. Yes, Alan? We've got the kid's blood. And something else I think will interest you. Be right with you. Patrick sent for this. It tells the whole story. And oh, that's Lyra, Etrick's mother. 402 11 1. It has happened again. That which we of Arcanon dread above all. The terrible scourge we thought we had eradicated from our genes has returned. Pask has the killing sickness. We've got to let Pask know that we know. Yeah, make it fast. There's another battle going on right here. Okay. Pask? So. They have come to their senses. You have Ettrick? We have. Well, hurry, and you will have your doctor back. Yeah, a moment first, Pask. I cannot wait. Hold it, Pask. Look at this. That which we have arcan on dread above all. The terrible scourge we thought we had eradicated from our genes has returned. Pask has the killing sickness. Locke and Karak are dead, destroyed by Pask in the meaningless violence that this disease engenders in its victims. I, Lyra, have taken command. Pask has been overpowered. I have ordered the preparation of a stasis chamber. Pask will be placed in stasis, where he will remain until a cure for the killing sickness can be found. Since it is known that the killing sickness is passed on in the genes of the male line, I have, I have no alternative but to place in stasis with Pask my my son, Etrek. I pray that one day he will be able to give me his forgiveness and understanding. Let me see, Etrek. 
What have you done to him? Nothing. He gave us his blood. You took Ettrick's blood? He took it himself, Pask. He gave it freely. We have confirmation, Doctor. This virus can be cured. We can develop a serum. If you can... What's the matter with Ettrick? He seems to be incapable of replacing the blood he has lost. It is over. Unless this eagle is released, Dr. Russell will die. All right, Pask. You have control. Launch pad activated. I have lost Ettrick. There is nothing left now. Nothing to wait for. You may go. The boy need not die. A blood transfusion would... My blood. With the active virus. Your blood, after it's been treated with a serum, will make with Ettrick's blood. You're the only one that can save him. I do not save life. I take it. Even your own son. Even my own sons. You couldn't do it before. You cannot do it now. I can. I will. I must. The sickness can be cured. It's just that you and your people have accepted it all these generations. Is it that you're afraid? It's too late. It's not too late if you'll give your blood. It's too late, I tell you. He cannot be saved. Now get out or you go with me. Right. Start your engines. Leave your son to die. We're coming out. The Arkanoon ship has landed. Right. Have them brought straight here. It's worked. The virus has been destroyed. He's doing nicely. Heart, blood pressure, steady. He's failing. Stimulators. Oh. Oh, way. A waste of time. The heart will not bump what is not there. Save your strength. Uh, oh, is my son. The virus is destroyed. He's a true Arcanon again, a peace bringer. Pask. Pask. Oh. Pask. Do not leave me. How? They will come for us both. But they will find only you. Clean and free from the sickness. It is good. Lyra is gone these thousand years. I am Mourner, but of Lyra's line. Beast, you Mourner, of Lyra's line. 
I give in to your care, your kinsman, Edric. Take him with you to Arcanon. You know I cannot, Pask. There is still no place on Arcanon for the sickness. Edric no longer has the sickness. We prepared a serum and gave him a transfusion using Pask's blood. Yes. We know of this process on Arcanon. You could have cured Pask and didn't. We knew of the cure but could not use it. No Arcanon can give that amount of blood and live. knew this. It's the last privilege of the killing sickness to kill oneself. Ask. Come, Edric. We're going home. Hey, Cobra. I got something for you to take back home with you. Now, remember, two eyes, two hands, huh? Thanks, Ellen. But... Oh, come on. Just a beat-up old football. Anyway, we're mates, aren't we? See ya. Football? It's an old Earth symbol, which means... I'm glad I met you. Can I stay with Pask? For a time? Okay. to be back. I'm sorry I wasn't around to help when all that flack was flying around. Alan says I would have liked it, Rick. Mm, you would have. You would have liked Pask, too, under different circumstances. Helena. You can't blame yourself for what happened. Pask is dead. You're a doctor. You did what any other doctor would have done. Pask knew what would happen if he gave blood you didn't know. As a doctor, I should have known. Besides, not a very satisfactory defense. Ignorance. You saved the boy. Yeah. I do have that to be grateful for. Etrick. Is that all you have to be grateful for? <laughs> 